I'm here at the yurt and I wanted to go over the basics needed for trapping. There's not a lot of gear you need for trapping and the stuff I'm going to show you here, if you're a beginner, you need. If you're the most advanced trapper, you probably have this in your kit. There's not much deviation. And this is mostly geared towards the no northeast and using foothold style traps. So let's dig right in. The most important thing that you can have as far as tools in your trapping arsenal is this. It's called a three-in-one tool. Numerous companies make them, uh, so look around, see which one you like. I say go with something that's all metal. It just works out, it's gonna hold up, you'll have this a lifetime, your kids will have this. What's on this is, of course, a hammer, and the hammer's used for driving in trap stakes. You have a digging tool in the back that's used for digging in hard ground and digging that initial trap bed. And then you have a shovel that if you need to shovel into the trap bed at all, or you can use this to punch holes for dirt hole sets. This is literally invaluable. Next most important thing is gonna be your dirt sifter. You can make these, you could buy these, you can get heavy duty ones, you can get smaller ones, you can get larger ones. Look around, but this is gonna allow you to sift that dirt over your trap to bed it in properly and cover it over properly. So you're gonna need a sifter. Next I have a bag that um, I carry that was my grandfather's, he actually sewed this. So I like to carry for nostalgic purposes. First is a good pair of pliers. You can use these for all types of things with your traps, specifically bending traps, bending frames, resetting frames on traps. It's important to have a good pair of pliers. Now this is something that a lot of guys probably don't carry, but I do. Um, this is a J-hook tool. Looks pretty funky. And what the J-hook tools do is allow me to fix and adjust you see these swivel points i can open and close them with this tool if i have any type of s hooks okay or swivels i can open or close them so if for some reason i need to adjust chains or anything like that i have this tool next thing is um some of these quick links and see what they look like these things super valuable again something breaks on a trap you can always jimmy rig them with this the magical blue container what's in that container they're extra bullets if you've trapped long enough you have gotten out to a set needed to dispatch an animal and realize that your trapping gun you either forgot your bullets or you didn't reload after the last session and you need bullets go back to the truck or go back to the yurt wherever and the last two items well three items License, trap pan covers. You can see that's just a mesh screen. And then I carry sheep's wool for baits and lures. So that's what I have. Other than that, of course, I have traps. Once my line's established, I don't carry extra traps. I do always carry an extra stake. I stake in most of my traps as anchors, and we're gonna talk about that in another video. But I like to have an extra stake. I think it's just a valuable thing in my trapping kit to have along with me. This container, I keep some lure. Lure is probably one of the most important things you can have on a trap line. Here I have something for raccoon, something for fox, something for coyote, and then I have an all-purpose lure, which is uh, Carmen's number one. It's a raccoon, fox, I got everything on that lure, so I always keep this in here. And then, of course, if I'm trapping something real specific, I can add another one or two in here, but this works well. It's sealed, it doesn't smell keeps everything good and fresh. And then of course your bait or urine. This is my trapping kit, very simple. Um, there's no complexity to this, stuff's not gonna break. It's easy breezy, okay? If you're starting trapping, this is the minimum you need. If you're an advanced trapper, you're gonna say, hey, that's all you need. So just keep that in mind. I wanted to share this with everybody. I wanna do a couple videos on trapping because I love to get out and trap this time of the year. So I wanna share some of this stuff with you. And um, hopefully you get out, give it a go because I know you'll love it. This was Dan Wolbeck with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Stay in the woods.